All right, let's talk about running pickets. So when we run pickets, we always run right to left if, we use, if we're right-handed, okay? Right now, I'm gonna start this first picket away from this post. I marked this picket at seven inches from the top down seven inches because this fence is designed to have seven inches of the picket stick above the top rail. That's what gives us that one inch gap underneath it, okay? So I have my mark. Normally, you would start with the picket parallel or flush or even with the post. The posts are level. We're not going to use a level to run pickets. We will not use a level to run pickets because we have a level every eight feet that's more important that we're parallel with that post than level. Because if you're level and the post is out of level, the homeowners will say something's not right. Okay? And then something's not right. But if we just follow the post every time, if we're off a fraction, it looks perfect. So we're not going to level unless you're new to running pickets. If you're an installer, you're going to be using a two-foot level. You're going to run four pickets, level. Four pickets, level. Four pickets, level. Four pickets, match the post. And repeat. Eventually, it gets where you can do eight pickets, level. Eight pickets, match the post, and repeat. If you're a foreman or a co-foreman, you should not need a level. Okay? So we're going to attach, I'm going to move this first picket over on purpose so we can build the gate later. Normally, it'll be flush with the post. But right now, I'm going to move it over. So just like he's got his first picket nailed, I got my first picket nailed, I have my cheater picket, and my straightaway. What's important here, what's very, very, very important is as you move this down the line, you cannot just slide it. You have to run the entire section Pick this up and move to the next one and move the whole system. You cannot slide it because this fence changes direction at every one of these intersections of rails. Every one of them changes direction. We have to match that. So we have to make sure this is on every post and this goes from post to post. You cannot just move this down the rail like that. That won't work. All right, breaking this down slowly. The nail gun should stay at the shoulder, not at the hip. So when I go to start this section, the nail gun should stay up here and I feed pickets. Okay, I'm running right to left, but I'm grabbing pickets with my left hand. There's a reason for that. Otherwise, if I do it the other way, and I grab a picket over here, and I try to hold this up, there's a good chance I can shoot myself. That's why, if you're right-handed, you're grabbing pickets on this side like this, and I'm bringing that picket in tight, and then up, I can feel that positive stop. Nail gun stays on the shoulder, so I don't shoot myself. I've had guys bring it down and shoot themselves in the leg. I've had them shoot themselves in the groin, shoot themselves on an itch in the heel. If you leave the gun here, you won't get shot. So it just goes back to the shoulder. Now, <clears throat> before I back nail this, this is what I'm talking about not using a level. If you guys can look here, this edge of this picket is parallel with this post. If you can make that match, then you're perfectly level, okay? If it doesn't match, I can push the pickets with my foot, 
where I can bump the pickets over. You guys see that? It matches right here. Okay? Once I know I have that set, now that that picket's set, none of these can move. So back to where I was, I nailed it, gun on the shoulder, I make sure I'm level, I back nail the middle, the gun gets turned sideways, you follow the hose. So we go here, again it's away from my body, both hands on the gun. Oh. All right, there's a staggered nail pattern at the top. There's a reason for that. Like there's a reason for everything, right? So it doesn't flip. Couple of reasons. When you look down the fence line, eye level, I see these nails. When I back nail quickly like I just did, look at them, they're not very pretty or straight. They're uneven. The way I can make this nail pattern fast and clean is by a high-low pattern. It's easy for me to see the top of that two by four and the bottom, so I hit high-low. <clears throat> That's one reason. The next reason is I'm grabbing a bigger chunk of the picket and holding against the rail spread out. So if I had two pickets or two nails right here in the middle, I'm unsupported from here up eight and a half inches. And I've increased the distance here down here. The warping that the homeowners complain about is at the top. Think about it like this, if you have a bundle of pickets and you strap them down with a half inch metal banding strap really tight, the pickets will curl up under compression. But if you put a four inch strap on that same bundle, really tight, they lay down flat because you're grabbing a bigger chunk of the picket and pushing it down. Same idea, I'm grabbing at least a two inch chunk of the picket rather than a quarter inch chunk of the picket. Right, just 800 times more surface area being attached to that two by four. So two reasons, one, it's good and looks good to the eye. And two, I'll grab a bigger chunk of the picket. I guess the third reason is we won't be different than everybody else. Team Blue, right? <laughs> <laughs>